kitchen. Today we're cooking pancakes. We've already got two going in the pan right here. Let me uh, flip them over for you real quick and then I'll tell you what we're doing. Okay, basically what we're doing right now is we're using our 13 inch skillet. This came out of our number four set. We've already used uh, three out of the four pans that come in, in that, uh, in that uh, set. The other one would be the wok and that really doesn't go along with breakfast food. So. Uh, Unless you want to scramble an egg in a wok, but that's a different uh, that's a different episode. Okay, so we got our pancakes going on in here. Now what we did is we started off with a very clean pan. Remember, you have to have a clean pan, otherwise you'll have problems with the sticking. Um, another thing we're doing, we're actually going to teach you two techniques. Cleaning is obviously the most important one. The second one is proper heat. You're going to cook the pancakes on the same temperature you're going to cook the eggs. In this case, we're using a medium heat, just like we did with the eggs, and we used butter instead of uh, the cooking spray. Now the reason we're using the butter, like I told you before, this is going to teach you the proper cooking temperature. Remember, if the butter turns brown, the pan's too hot and you're going to burn your food. A lot of the times we get a calls at uh, Healthcraft and people say, you know, I burn my food. Well, the only way you can burn your food is if you have the heat too high. So remember, you have a new set of cookware that conducts heat very, very well, so you want to take advantage of it because it's going to save you money by lowering your energy cost and it's also uh, a lot more economical and easier to use and you don't have to worry about burning your food. Okay, so we got our pancakes going right here. We're going to let those uh, continue cooking. Basically what we did is we mixed up, mixed up a pancake mix. Uh, you can buy any store-bought pancake mix that you want or you can mix it up yourself. Um, it's up to you. Remember, Mise en Place. We've got our maple syrup for when the pancakes come out. We've got our butter over here and that's basically all you need. Remember, 13 inch pan, if you have a large, if, uh, this is perfect for pancakes. This pan right here, you could probably do, you know, maybe three dollar size pancakes. Uh, we've got two larger size pancakes in here. Um, so, you know, it just depends on what size family you have and what you like. I like the 13 inch skillet for the pancakes. We also make a square griddle, uh, that's perfect for pancakes as well. But we're using the 13 inch here today. Well, we're just gonna let these continue to cook. Now we're going to start another batch of pancakes and I'm going to show you a little bit more about them in a second. Okay, flipping the pancakes over. Now, what I forgot to show you in the beginning, which I'll show you another uh, when we do this again, you notice these little air bubbles in the, in the, uh, in the pancakes? That's all the uh, moisture cooking out of the, out of the cake and that's going to tell you when it's ready to flip over. So these are about ready, these are about done. So we're going to put those over here on the plate. We're going to show you this again. Okay. We have the proper temperature. Pan's already preheated. So we're going to go to the butter. Remember, proper temperature is very, very, very important here. Now, if you put that butter in the pan and it turns brown, it's too, too hot, you need to clean the pan and start over again. So, got the butter going there. We're just going to pick the pan up, twist it like that. Now the nice thing about Healthcraft cookware is your gourmet skillets, they have stay cool handles. That's why I'm able to pick this pan up and uh, right off the top of the stove. I'll show you about this in a second. But let's, uh, we're going to use half a cup of pancake batter. We're going to use our ladle from our arrowhead cutlery set, or our arrowhead tool set. We're going to use half a ladle full. Just like that. Okay, going to give those a couple of seconds. They take about two, three minutes before you need to flip them over. As I was saying about the stay cool handle, if you take a look at our pan, it's hollow. It would allow airs to travel through the center and it keeps the handle stay cool. So you can actually cook right on top of the stove without having, without having to use a, you know, an oven or a, a dish towel or anything. You don't have to worry about burning your hands. Now as you can see, the pancakes are starting to bubble. This is what you're looking for. We're going to give it a still, still needs about a minute or so before we flip them over. You want to get a nice golden brown pancake, that's what you want to look for. So we're just going to let that continue to cook. Don't mess with it. Just, you have proper heat right now, so you don't have to do anything else except for watch it. Now if you want to, I know some people are impatient and they always have to check. If you want to, you can just tab it like, uh, give it a little nudge with the spatula. If it gives in on itself, it's not ready to be flipped over yet. And then you can also look, there's a, the edges are going to turn a little bit golden brown. You want to look for that as well. 
and of course steam. This one's about ready. So we're just going to take the pancake, flip it over like that. Now these are only going to take about two or three minutes. Good pancakes should only take about six or seven minutes to cook. Now you want to make sure it cooks all the way and you can push on this. If it kind of gives in on itself and you leave like a fingerprint, it's not ready yet. I don't know if you've ever cooked pancakes before and you have like this gooey inside. Well, you don't want that. So you want to make sure they're cooked properly and just keep touching them like that until your finger doesn't leave a mark and that way you know that they're ready to be taken out of the pan. Okay, these are almost ready to go. A light golden brown color is what you want to look for. And another nice thing about Healthcraft too is you can do crepes in here, which is basically similar to a pancake, but it's a very thin batter. As you can see, this is kind of a little bit thick. A crepe batter is a little bit more watery, and you'd use a 10 inch pan just like this. Uh, the way you would, you would do that is preheat it upside down on the burner just like that and get it hot, dip it over in the crepe batter, put it back on top of the stove, let it cook for about two or three minutes, and then you can peel the crepe right off the back of the pan. You get a perfect crepe every time. And those of you that don't know what a crepe is, it's a French pancake. I'm just going to flip those over. Look at the color on those pancakes. Okay, we're ready to take them out of the pan, just like that. Now, the only thing you need now you like butter, this would be the perfect time to put a little bit of butter on there. Let that melt. A little bit of maple syrup. There you go. There you have it. Perfect pancakes. Now another thing you want to look for is when you're all finished, how clean your pan is. That's what proper cooking temperature will do for you. No mess, no fuss. That's what Healthcraft's all about.